for by strength shall no man prevail, but by the Spirit of God. Take me deeper. Hey, what is your desire this evening? And my faith. Hey, come on, woman says, Spirit, lead me. Hey, it says you will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way to go. Oh, call that back, Hosha. Yeah. 
to see your father we have release a sound in the room I needed to see your father hey I need your eyes to fix on this area
ancient of days. The I am that I am. The Holy One of Israel. The one that is that is to come. The King over Israel. Our God, our Maker. Your people have come before you this morning. This hour. Lion of Judah, Lion of Judah. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. The table is set. Your people are ready. We declare the service open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. With Jesus' joy, Avesus, with a round of applause, can we welcome the ministry of Big Bola Haji? Hey. Oh, 
help me choir. I will bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. He has done great. Hey! He has done great. He has done the same. at your neighbor and do your hands like this if you have a little space. Something like this, something like this. Tell your neighbor. What's in my boy? What's in my boy? What's in my boy? What's in my of my daddy. Understand your about forgive us. Um, so we're singing the strife is all it's over. Victory is ours, right? Max Sams, is that is that what it is? The strife is over, victory is ours. Is that the English of the song? It'd be like so. 
So just in case you don't understand Yoruba, just forgive us, yeah? You're welcome to Next Level Prayer Conference, Ibadan. Great to be here. But because this is Ibadan, I need Ega Ega Baba O, Ega Ega. Ega Ega Baba O, Ega Ega. Remix. Remix. Come on, Come on, Come on, Siri mix, Siri mix. The first one, you take a selfie. The second one, you take a picture of your neighbor. Something like this. Oh, we'll be too much better. 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 I need to go, 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 no, yeah. Oh, yeah, 
and magnify him he's a faithful God he's a faithful God go ahead and magnify him your own way tell him how good he has been to your family tell him how kind he has been to you the fact that you can still sweat is a testimony the fact that you can complain is a testimony Ah, what a beautiful name it is what a beautiful name it is. The name, the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name. It Nothing compares. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name. Ancient words ever true, changing me, changing me. This evening, changing you. We have come. We have come. We are Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. We are here of salvation. 
welcome you this beautiful evening to NLP Ibadan. Come on, put those hands together for Jesus. You know, the Lord has been with us and Ibadan will not be an exception to what the Lord is doing. Come on, shout a bigger hallelujah. See, forget about the fact that you're finding yourself. Forget about the fact that the makeup is going to break because we know that as we have come here today, we are not going back the same way in the name of Jesus. So please just be relaxed and get ready for the move of God this beautiful evening. Put those hands together for Jesus again. If you're going to put your hands together, put them together for Jesus this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be here? Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm very excited myself. And um, this evening, as we continue the service, hallelujah, I want to welcome you also specially to this Next Level Prayer Conference. It is a conference where you will live and you will never be the same again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In furtherance of the, of the service this evening, I'd like to invite, you know, with me to this platform, a very special lady, you know, and um, she's somebody that God has taken from a place where she had prayer points to a place where she has entered into, you know, the answers that she has desired God of, you know, and I want to guarantee you that you will be mightily blessed this evening by her testimony. Please join me to welcome Sister Sheo Adedayo Olajide. Please put her ha your hands together for her as we welcome her. Please have a seat. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you, Sister Sheon. Awesome. So welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so, much. so we'll just get right into it, you know. So can you tell us your, your story, the before story? What happened to you? What was the situation? Um, good evening, church. Good evening, house. Um, I got married in 2014. Hmm. And um, in 2015, we welcomed the baby girl. But about two months after, she passed on. She passed on. Yes, she did. You got married. Then 
you got you, you got pregnant shortly after. Shortly after, yes. And then you had a baby. Baby girl. She passed on two months after. Yes, after okay. she was born. Okay. Praise God. And then shortly after, a few months after, um, we got pregnant again. And then I had a miscarriage hmm. about um, in the early second trimester. Hmm. And then from that time till last year, we had been trusting God. That for time the is of what the time again? From 2016 to 2021. 2016 to 2021. Yes. You were believing. Yes. So what happened within this period? What was the process like? Wow. What was your experience? It was a very traumatic experience hmm. from tests to surgeries to IVFs to drugs to scans to tears wow. to... <laughs> wow. You told me specifically about one particular test that was especially horrible. What was that about? It was a laparoscopy. It was okay. um, around March two, um, 2020. And it was really, really horrific. It's like um, a, it's it's like an invasive surgery, trying okay. from your belly button, just trying to check the inside. So they get into your belly button. Yes, from and your try belly to button. check what's going on yes. on the inside. Yes. Your reproductive systems, your hmm. whole systems, from inside, from outside, inside. Hmm. Yes. Okay. And so as they did all of these tests, because you talked about that, you talked about blood work, you talked about all kinds of tests yes. that they did. Yes. What did the doctors find? In the beginning, they didn't find anything. They, were, they kept saying there was nothing wrong, everything was fine, everything was fine. But at some point, we still were not getting pregnant. And we really wanted to get pregnant, obviously, after so mm. many years. Mm. And we were even hoping that they would find something wrong. So it got to a point that you were hoping that at least, let's yes. find something yes. so that at least we'll be treating something. Yes, so that but they couldn't find. They did not find. Mm. Mm. Then later they started finding, but it was all just mixed up and all modeled up. There wasn't really anything specific. Mm. Mm. You told me at some point that you, you wrote a letter to God. What was that yes. about? Yes, okay, that was um, in 2016, because that was the year I lost a child in January, hmm. and then I had a miscarriage in October, September, October. Hmm. That was in 2016, and I told God specifically what I wanted from him after those two losses in one year. Yeah. And I told God I wanted twin boys hmm. and a girl after. You told God you wanted him to give you twin boys. boys yes. And then a girl after. Yes. Okay. And I specifically wrote it, and the letter was dated 4th of September, 2016. Because I still God. have the letter. That was 2016. Yes. Okay. You told me also about, you know, different hospitals. You yes. told me you had, like, how many hospital about cards? 15 hospital cards. 15 different hospitals? Yes. Which kinds of hospitals are we talking about? From please? fertility to... All kinds of hospitals, hmm. all kinds of hospitals, the, all kinds of hospitals, all, from the, all the hospitals in Ibadan, I'm very sure I have almost all their cards. Their cards. All of them. All the ones that say, ah, this guy is good, we'll go here. This guy is good, we'll go here. Hmm. Ah, this person did this. What were the kinds of pressures that you were getting at that point in time? Um, fortunately, I wasn't really under um, outside pressure. Okay. I think it was more of an internal pressure, hmm. you putting yourself, you knowing this is where I want to be, and then hmm. you trying to move ahead. To get there. Yes. Okay. So, obviously, if you are going to all of these hospitals and all of these things, it costs something. Oh, it costs So, what, what was the financial, you know, part, you know, of this story? Uh, tens of millions. 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 Tens of millions Tens of, naira. of millions of naira. You were spending on what? On IVFs? On IVFs, on blood work, hormonal balances, hormonal works, drugs, 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 scans, tests, 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 more tests, more scans. You more mentioned money. that a point. You and your husband had to get some, you know, drugs. Yes, um, there was a point we even got some drugs that were over half a million. Just to boost and then try to cleanse. So you went to buy medicine. Yes. And they said the cost of this medicine. Yes. 500,000 naira. Yes. Over that. Yes. And they Praise said God. people had used it and it worked for them. But nothing happened. Nothing happened. So what happened next? How did you get your miracle? What happened? Okay. On the 31st of December 2020, my sister-in-law, who um, is a member of Harvesters in Bagada, she, she'd been telling me to join, and then on this day, she really put a lot of pressure. That was the last day of the year. Hmm. And she put a lot of pressure on me to join, so I joined that day. Your sister-in-law invited you to join yes. Next and Level Prayer? Yes. yes. Okay. So what happened when you joined that okay. 31st of December? Yes. On that 2020, day. 2020, you said? Yes, 2020. Yes. On that day specifically, I got promoted at work. 
the same day you joined, yes. you got a promotion. You told me you were not due for that I promotion yet. I was due because a couple of weeks ahead, they had already said that there were some particular months. You had to be some particular months before you could get promoted. But I hadn't even gotten up to those particular months, but I got promoted. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that was first level. Then what happened next? In February, I took in. No. No, wait. You had done tests. Yes. You had done IVFs. Yes. Did you do another IVF? No. No, it was IUF. I didn't do anything. I wasn't even on drugs. So what happened? I got pregnant. Who did it? God did Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without any kind of anything Not anymore. even vitamin C. Wow. This is the God that we serve. Dear sister, there are people in this audience. There are people watching, you know, from the internet everywhere. And, you know, people are waiting on God for something. Some people are waiting on God for a child. Some people are waiting on God for a life partner. Some for a job. Some for a breakthrough. What do you have to say to them? <sighs> what I have to say is to have your complete and total rest hmm. in God. First of all, know that God loves you so much. Hmm. He loves you so, so, hmm. so much. Hmm. And he will go above and beyond for Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. what I have to say. Hallelujah. Just have your rest in God. Hallelujah. And just know he will come through for you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Your complete rest, your complete trust, have it in God and understand the fact what? That he loves you totally. Sisters and brothers, you are here again. Hallelujah. Today you have a date with destiny. Today you have an encounter waiting for you with God. What are you going to do today? Ensure that you connect. Whatever it is, don't be distracted. I know a lot is going on. Some of us are finding ourselves. But what did you come here for today? You came to meet with Jesus. And I trust God that the same God that has done it for Sister Shell. How old are your children today? They are four and a half months. What did God give you? Two boys. Two boys. Three boys. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we are believing God that that girl that you asked for will be what? Will be done also in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come and put your hands together Amen. for Jesus. Thank you so much, dear sister. God bless you. If you are the next to testify, can you shout to the Lord God this beautiful evening? I didn't say speak. I said shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, come on. Hallelujah. This evening, in furtherance of the conference, I will be speaking on the topic, It's Your Time to Testify. I will be speaking on the topic, it's your time to testify. It's my own time to testify. Can you preach to two, three people, four people around you and say, it is my turn to testify. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's my turn to testify. Prophesy to someone, it's my turn to testify. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. Isaiah 43 in verse 18. So, in our vestas, we are always excited at the word of the Lord. When you hear the scriptures, you shout glory. So, let's do that. Let's do that. So, when Pastor B comes and he calls the scripture, you shout what? Glory. Yes. So, let's do it. Isaiah 43 in verse 18. Glory. Yes. The Bible says, do not remember the former things. It's very instructive. Do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. Why? Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. What's the instruction to you this morning as you get ready for your testimony? Do not remember the former things. What are the former things? There are series of things that you came here with that you are not going back into. Those things are the former things. You might have come here without a job. You are living here with a job. Listen, and, and the, the, the position you used to know that 
those things that you have come here with, you might have come here with a sickness. You might have come here with something that is bothering you. But the fact that you are not going back with it, that's why the scripture says, do not remember the former things. Press the Lord. Press the Lord. Before Pastor P comes up, you need to tell yourself that you want to detox yourself. You want to empty yourself because there needs to be a feeling of the word. There needs to be a feeling of power. And for those things to happen, you must forget the things of the past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not remember the former things. Hallelujah. For your testimony to happen, two things you must do. One, you must be hungry this evening. I don't know if you've eaten. That's not what we are talking about. But you must be hungry to receive from God this evening. Glory be to Jesus. You must be hungry and forget about every other thing around you. You know, it's simple like you want to eat and where you want, you are hungry and where you are is stuffy. Do you care about the fact that it's stuffy? No. What you are concerned about is the fact that you must eat. So my challenge to you this evening is you, there must be an hunger in you this evening. There must be an hunger in you this evening to receive, to lambano, to just take everything all. Imagine a goalkeeper that is getting ready for a penalty. That is the posture that you need to have this evening. That as pastor speaks the word, I receive it. As pastor says, I get it, I catch it. I lambano it. Because why? There is no word that will be spoken by our man of God that will not fulfill what he has been sent to do. And you know why I believe this? We have seen it happen before. Ay -ay -ay -ay. We have seen it happen before and Ibadan will not be an exception to these things. In the name of Jesus. You need to get ready. You need to be at alert. See, forget about the person sitting beside you. Forget about what happened at home. Why? Because the Bible has said, remember not the former things. Because everybody getting out of here is getting out a new person. A different person. See, see, see. If you want to stretch your faith. Some of us even need to take a different person. In the name of Jesus. The next thing you must do. Picture your testimony. Picture yourself in those things you are trusting God for. Praise the Lord. Those things you are forgetting and those things you are seeing yourself getting into, you need to picture yourself into it. I remember a testimony in Lagos, you know, about a lady that was trusting God for a baby. And she went to the hospital and they told her, you know, she was expecting the triplet. And they told her that, you know, maybe the sax was empty. I don't know if, you know, choir can remember the testimony. And she did something. She said she, in her words, she went online, downloaded picture of triplets and started praying over it. Some of us right now, you need to pick up your phone and start, and start downloading pictures. You need to start writing yourself letters of congratulations, even in these things. Because for those things you are trusting God for, there must be a complimentary action that you must take that the grace from Pastor Balaji will just push you forward. Praise the Lord. You need to start downloading pictures. Send your C. Right here, start writing the letters of congratulations. Pastor Balaji used to tell us something very profound. That whatever you are trusting God for, you are trusting God for a car, can you buy a car key? That is a picture, sir. You are trusting God for a house. Can you download that house on Google right now and pray over it as we do that? You are trusting God for a job. Can you do something that only the word of God, this evening, will only push you forward in it? Hallelujah. 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 Raise a standard on your expectations with pictures. Raise a standard on your expectations with pictures. And if you don't have an expectation before coming, start writing something down. Because you know what? Look at the lady that testified. She said on a particular day, on I think 14th of September or something, that was when she knew, when is your own date? 3rd of March. Calavo, what's today's it? 6th of March. 6th of March. You say 6th of March. There was a conference in the battle. 6th of March. I wrote it down. There was a conference. Pastor Balaji prayed. And hey, it happened. That's what we are talking about. And you know why I believe you will not be an exception? The Bible says in Agai 2.9. Agai 2.9. The Bible says the glory of this latter house 
shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace. The glory of the latter, this is the latter now, will be better than what happened in Abuja, what happened in Lagos, what happened in Dubai, what happened, you know, your, it will be inconsequential. Are you ready this evening? Are you ready this evening? Are you downloading the pictures? Are you hungry? Are you waiting? You know, you know, talking about being hungry, I remember when I was a bit younger, and most of us that we have dogs, we can remember. If you have a dog and the dog is hungry, and you're trying to toggle a bone with the dog, the dog is ready. See, words will come this evening, though. You might choose to receive. Is anyone that attempts to receive that collects? If you do not attempt to collect, you will not receive. And how do you receive? You receive with your faith being active. With your entire life. See, that is why I said earlier on, remember not the former things. Forget about everything that happened before you stepped in here. Because as you step out of here, you are a totally different person. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to wrap up, the Bible says in Proverbs 23, 18, for surely there is an end. Ah, for surely there is an end. I don't know what you're going through, but surely there is an end to it. Are you seeking for a child? Surely there is an end to it. Do you need a job? Surely there is an end to it. Do you need an accommodation? Surely there is an end to it. Do you need a change of job? Surely there is an end to it. Surely there is an end. And thine expectation shall not be cut short. Bible says, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the air. But now my eyes see you. You have heard testimony. Now is your own turn for a testimony. See, you, they've been announcing testimonies to you, but today, you are stepping into your own testimony. In the name of Jesus, rise to your feet, let's pray. Rise to your feet, let's pray. Let's pray. Bible says, surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut short. Expectation is the mother of manifestation. Expectation is the mother of all manifestation. Release your expectations to God. Oh, don't be calm. Release your expectations to God. Don't be calm. My father, my father, release your expectations to him. The lady said that he loves you. He loves you. Release your expectations to God. Oh, release your expectations to God. Release your expectations. Release it. Release it. Release it. Oh, release it. The grace in the atmosphere is massive. The grace in the atmosphere is massive. Release your expectations. Throw it in the atmosphere. As you want to see as a man of God comes, begin to release it into the atmosphere. Release it into the atmosphere. Release it into the atmosphere. Don't be calm. Release it. Release it. Wherever you are this evening, just go ahead and blast the tongues. Eko shamba katala kili andele prostele ke shiada akapala dele le mena koda machanda eko brande de stala bakoma na machanda katabada baba bakaya ektos kapa kopiada it is my turn for a change it is my turn for testimony it is my turn for turn around tonight will not pass me by tonight will not pass me by eko preso tshada akatada Tonight will not pass me by. Tonight will not pass me by. Lord, my God, my Father, my Father. Tonight will not pass me by. Oh, you will not pass me by tonight. The Lord will visit me. It will touch me tonight. It will touch me tonight. My situation will change. My life will turn around. I cost the cut. I got the belly of a day. And I stop a cut. I let me handle the belly. Cost the belly. And shop a cut. Wherever you are this evening, lift up your voice to God and say, Father, remember me tonight. Change my situation around. And the bank so good.
Thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Come on, that amen is weak. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Scripture says that arise and shine, for thy light has come, and the glory of God is risen upon you. The proof that you will shine is because your light has come. Ah, you will lift up your voice, and you will say, My father, my father, let your light shine on me. And let there be a turn around. Lift up your voice and pray. Ah, I shake it today. Wreck a part of the matter. Let your light shine on me. Let there be a turn around. Let there be a change. I can stop on the Let there be a turn around. Yes, the changes, yeah. Yes, the turn around us, yeah. Oh, all over this place. Oh my God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Oh my God. See, scripture says, I will arise and have mercy upon Zion. Are you here with me? For the time to favor has come. Yea, the set time. You will say, my father, my father. Let my time be tonight. Oh my God. Listen, I don't know about you, but for me, it is tonight. It's not tomorrow. It's not next week. It's tonight. Lift up your voice. I shake it. Let my time Let my time come. Let the time of favor come. Let the time of favor come. Let the time of favor. Let the car. Let the calm. All over the place. In the overflow. Let your time come. Let me speak. I shut it. Come on. Something is happening here. Oh my God. Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus hallelujah come and have your seat in God's presence Church. Good morning. My name is Modupa Oderide. Um, I'm so much interested about Avesta Church. I've been watching Avesta Church for a very long time. My children's school director invited me to Avesta um, to Next Level Prayer online because um, I was going through some illness. So she told me that, what's happening to you? I said, I have not been able to work properly. So she sent the link to me that I should be listening to the prayer every morning. Wow. So since March, I've joined um, the prayer from in, in the morning. The, the, my illness was, um, I, um, there was a time I was not able to walk properly. 
I usually drag my feet on the floor. People would think I'm walking, but I'm not really walking. Mm. I would be dragging my feet on the floor. So it was so ter terrible. So you were not able to walk, but you used to just drag your foot. I drag my, yes, foot I drag, on yes. People don't know, but they would think I'm walking. Mm. So because of uh, the, uh, the kind of uh, illness I'm going through. What, what was this illness? It was a nervous... nervous ne yes, nerves mm. problem. It was, a, it was a problem with the nervous system. Yes. Right. So because of that, you could not pick up I, your I, leg. I, yes, yes. And I've done series of tests. There was a time, this, the kind of symptoms that comes to me, it's, it's, it's terrible, it's scary. Sometimes I will, my body will be stiff. Mm. I will not be able to move my body for the next one hour. Steve, what do you mean by Steve? I, you know, I'll just be at a point. I can't move. You can't use head. your hand. You no, can. I can't. My body will tell me, do as I say. I will just stay like this. My wow. God. So wow. sometimes uh, it, it can go for 30 minutes and how For 30 minutes? Yes. You'll just be demobilized. Yes. There was a time I wanted to do something. I have to move this. Stay back. So I just need to. Hold it was on. as if your body had the mind of its own. Yes, it's controlling me. Like, wow. stay. Wow. And even though I want to turn my eyes, like, so it was so terrible. I, I, I don't know that I'm going to, I, I'm, I'm going to overcome this. Mm. When she sent me the link, she said, be watching it. Don't worry. What did the doctors tell you? The doctors said, um, uh, I need to go through, um, he said, I need to do MRI test. I need to do I um, mean, he talk about depression. Yeah. You know, it was canceling me. That um, that that was the doctor say. So the doctor had recommended it was a nervous problem, mm -hmm. and it, it was going to go through your an MRI, which is maybe really your brain, yes. and it will talk about depression. Yes. Yes. So how were you walking before? I was. I want the camera to show the leg wow. motion. Yes. Mm. I was mm. dragging my mm. feet. You know. Even my daughter will be telling me, Mommy, why are you walking like this? I, I can't move it. You know, it was like, ah, I don't know that I can move this leg, these two legs again. I, I, it, was, it was just gone. Oh, there was a time um, Pastor was uh, talking about, he was praying on one of the Friday. He was praying for sick people. So I said, I've been listening to this since March. I have to move this. Pastor Bologi said, do what you cannot do before. Ah. Say, hey, am I going to fall down if I try to? Ah. Okay, let me do it. Glory to Jesus! Points on the leg, the leg, the leg. Look at that. Glory to Jesus! Glory to Jesus! I was moving the leg. I was moving. Glory to Jesus! What a mighty God! What a mighty God! What a mighty God! Thirty minutes. I was doing that. My husband was watching me. That after like thirty minutes, your husband was watching. He was watching. He was scared. He was watching. He was watching. Maybe you will fall or pass out. I even thought I would fall. Oh, he didn't know Jesus had done it. Hey. Yeah. After oh that, after, after that, my husband, my, my husband said, I said, can't you see what I was doing? Mm. Said, ah, mm. I've seen you. Mm. I said, okay. After some three days, I was like, ah, Lord, I'm moving this leg off. Hey, this leg. I can't lift Glory it up, you know? How long couldn't you lift up the legs? Oh, since um, last year. To, I started moving my leg in October this yeah. year. This October, year. Yes, early so the healing took place in October this yes, year. Yes, so one on Fridays. Yeah, hold on. So since last year, over 12 months, she was dragging. Drag it again. Let's see. Drag it. See? But from October, move my, move my, move my, move my. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say something to someone that needs a miracle for himself, for the mom, for the child, for the sister, a financial miracle, a car. Say something that will encourage them. Lord is good and kind to me. Wow. I will just tell you, keep believing yeah. in God. Mm. Keep believing in God and be focused on God. Focus on him. Yeah. He's the only one that can do it. No one else can do it. Yeah. And I will advise you, always watch next level 
morning prayer. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hey, what are you waiting for? Thank you, man. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. To the God that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, beyond your expectation this night. Can I see you be on your feet this night? If you know your God is good and kind to you, can you just lift up those hands and raise up a sound? Raise up a sound to your Father. Alarm. So now okay raise it up to him we are raising our sound to our father alone so now okay For you are able to do exceedingly tonight. Everybody lift your hands and say, Tani wo. Oh, 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 this is your moment where you lift those hands and say, Alaru. Yay! Yay! And you need more feet. And I will. Take the name of Jesus to the end of the earth, to the end of the earth, to the end of the earth. The name of Jesus that is greater, that is greater and higher above cancer, above cancer, above limitation, above, above. We will always. We be always, we be always. Let's up your hands and I will not be silent. Yeah. We will not be silent. We will not. We will not. Be. Yeah, yeah. We will always worship you. Yeah. As long as I breathe. Oh, no. 
this one. Are you ready? Can you lift up your hands? Everybody will say, the sun of God is lifted. The sun of God is lifted. The sun of God, you are lifted high above, above, above. Hey. The sun of God is lifted. Yeah, the sun of God. Room. The Son of God is Say, oh, 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 you are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are Jesus. 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 The Son of God is One more time. Say, oh, 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 oh. You do not lie, you do not fear. 
What is hard for you to do, he does it as he It can never, ever see so. I am a you do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do, he does it as he so. It can never, ever exist. So lift your voice and say, you do not lie, you do. Hey, what is that for? It does it as It can never, it can never Hey, hey, you do not. I am a cold. What is that for? What you say you have done, I trust you to are Because you are not a man Changes your mind, oh Hey, those that Not in all season I am not my coach No man can prevail no. It can never. I am a coach. All over this place, lift your hands and say, You do not lie. Hey, what is that? For you to do it. It can never. I am an amateur coach. One more time, you do not lie. Voices, lift your hands and say, You do not lie. What has God promised you this year is the same yesterday, today, forevermore. It's not a man that you should lie. You do not lie. You do not fail. No one can do me like you do, God. No one can bless me like you do, God. He and Anesha, you are the living God. Hey, Kabaya, Dada, hey, say no one like you. Hey, no one can do me like you do, God. Asha, no one can heal me like you do, God. You are the living God. You are the living God. Yes, yes, no one like you. Hey, you brought me out from the mighty clay, set my feet on the rock to stand. You are my promoter. You are my defender. Everybody say, you are the living God. Yes, yes, no one. Hey, me. You are the living God. One more time. Hey, oh, I got all on Hey, oh, 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 
Every voice all on all on I call it a deal. I call it a I am a coach I call it a I am a Ayarabak 
One more time, lift your voice and say, Because you are God alone. From before time began, you are on your throne. You are God and right now, and right now, in the good times and bad. You are on your throne. Over this place, lift your voice, lift your hands, and sing.
Father, we worship you. Ah, belonte le kensto le brakida paso kapaleda ino kwasti kwasti parudi man papa kwasti kwasti shkovenin ko paposia halu prosto kene plom pene menegede eksti kom pene sko predina man prakte sko plente prekti kom mena breaking na masatia. Shani Quatesco, Shani Quatescontia, Elia To Pretina, Saban de Cole Practica Tota, Elicoria Sapate no Practea, Ske Practe Comine Practe Capa, Sileman Practe Caratiana Cata, Ateca Practe Conde, Eletrosque Palosca, Sile Brecetene Ompata, Sali Brecetena, Sile Copata Nombra, Sale Bracete, Sile Bracata. Sile Bracatane, Sile Creton de la Ate, Sambregetuna, Sabrate Cata, Sebrate Cata, Shade Corate, Umbaratela, Umbaratena, Solondeha, Sabateco, Radicupa, Shade Capa, Umpatana, Ixtaqueta, Shade Copa, Oratina, Sile Capara, Sobreketo, Rakitanama, Ipratona, Shabarote, Sile Gumpa, Saprate, Saparota, Sile Bara, Shapreco, Rabota, Rekita, Shambana, Ingapa, Korea, Segeru, Senegaya, Orata, Samandekata. Hallelujah. You have heard about the power of God tonight, you will see the power of God. Aha. You have heard it tonight, you will see the power of God. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. There's a lady you have a lump in your breast that it's just disappeared. You didn't even know about it. The lump in the breast has appeared. The lump in the breast has appeared. There's a woman that came in with arthritis and you feel certain pains. You have been healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You have been healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you have the lady with the lump in your breast, go and check yourself. The lump has disappeared. Go and check yourself. The lump has disappeared. If you have the person with the arthritis, go and check. Begin to move your leg. Begin to move where it is. You are healed by the power of... Begin. Don't move it once. Move it seven times. Check that lump in the breast seven times by the power of the Holy Ghost. Check it, 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 check it again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's another lady, twice you've been promised marriage and it failed. And the Lord said, I should tell you this, that is the end of that cycle. A new cycle is happening for you. In the spirit, I see the number one four. I'm not sure what it's about, but it has been a situation that has stayed for 14 years. It's been a situation that has stayed for 14 years. But the same way the woman with the issue of blood had to turn around. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
that delay that siege is over your turnaround has come in Jesus mighty name glory to God there is another lady called Atinuke and what has happened to you is that it has to do with marital delay and the Lord is saying I'm telling the story and giving you a full testimony I'm telling the story and giving you a full testimony if you believe shout I receive it shout I receive it this evening high blood pressure is being healed by the power of the Holy Ghost sugar diabetes go in the name of Jesus kidney problem go in the name of Jesus glory to God please you may have your seat briefly glory to God just one quick announcement please graciously Global Harvest Church which is next door has opened their church as an overflow praise the Lord so all of you that are standing or you are in the extension or you're on the road because there are lots of you on the road will you please some of you are standing within compound we want you if you can find your way to Global Harvest Church it's just next door. Am I, am I pointing in the right direction? It's just next door. You know, we have a place that can sit so many, many people there. So many people there. And, you know, I'm going to send both myself and our ministers to come to, you know, the other halls and pray for people. So some of you, I know you're in the banquet hall and some people are in the conference hall, in the, in the seminar room hall and we're just, you know, doing all of those things. So please, all of you on the road, I want you to participate very well. I don't want you to be praying and a car is honing and say, let us pass. I want it to be in a place where you have full attention. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. And if you, then this is what I'm going to do after the service. I don't know how much we can go. We're going to take 30 minutes after the service and some of you will want to be prayed for personally minister to we're going to have 30 minutes to do that then um, i believe that tomorrow morning we're doing next level from here is it from here praise god yeah we're doing next level from here glory to god hallelujah this is the first time we'll do next level from outside lagos we're doing it for the first time in the city of ibado Ibado, you are truly, truly blessed. Truly, truly blessed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay, let's go into the word of God. So if you want to share this with your friend, it's been streamed on uh, what on Instagram and the Instagram handle will be on the screen. And if some people cannot get here, you want to invite them to come. If some people, you know, or if your friends are still away, tell them to come. You know, some people got discouraged because they saw there was no seating. Let them know that we have made additional, maybe 2,000 seating available right now. And, you know, just extra to what we have currently. Glory to God. Before I start teaching, I really would like to have, where's Big B? Just disappeared all of a minute. I want to thank Big B because of, you know, um, one is my brother. And um, this is not what brought us together. But just thank you for ministry and all the things it's done to make this happen. I want to thank our pastor here. Pastor Nani, will you come quickly? You know. <laughs> pastor Nani is such an anointed man of God. And, um, you know, he's been able to, he's been traveling from Lagos to Ibadan, Lagos to Ibadan to make this happen. Thank you so much, Pastor Larry. Glory to God. Of course, some of our other senior pastors with me, Pastor Benga is here, you know. Pastor Foluke is here. Um, Pastor Dayo is here, but it's somewhere. Pastor Dami is here. Pastor Lawrence is here. I mean, a lot of our senior pastors came with me. I, I think you're late somewhere. Okay, they're, they're also. Praise the Lord. All right. So, this is what we want to do. Let me explain how we're going to do it tonight. I would preach for about maybe 10 or 15 minutes. We will pray general prayers. Then we will pray prophetic prayers and begin to minister to people. And when we release the power, if it's a contract that's not been released, it will be released. Yeah. If it's an approval that's not been released, it will be released. Every yoke of marital delay will be broken permanently. 
people will ask you this year what happened to you this year <laughs> your life will be full of proofs of answered prayers your life will be full of proofs of answered prayers in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God hallelujah so as we release the power of God healings will begin to take place two months are going to disappear some miracles have taken place already different different kind of miracles are just going to be taking place instantly glory to God will you help me put the what we're streaming on um, the Instagram handle is Bolaji ID so that if you want in case you want to share with someone if you're on Instagram just get it you can follow it just put it on the screen so in case you want to share with someone ask I want all of us online or offline to begin to share with our friends and ask them to join this evening so um, we we'll normally will stream on a lot of platforms but today we're just able to stream on Bolaji ID so it's Bolaji ID on Instagram so if you want to share it share with your friend how are you doing that's the lady with the restaurant right Congratulations. Yes, you, she came to Lagos and told me this big testimony about her restaurant. She's opening the house. The Lord opened the door for her. Wonderful. So I've already met a lot of people that will come from Ibadan to Lagos for the prayers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Praise the Lord. Let's turn in our Bibles to John chapter 9, verse 1. Wow. So much faith and culture in this place. The Bible says, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man that was blind from birth. And his disciples, and what I want to talk about, how to receive answer prayers. I don't know if you're like me, but a lot of Christians have prayed for such a long time, but they've not been able to receive what? Answer prayers. So what I want to talk about tonight is exactly how to receive what? Answer prayers. So this is what the Bible says. The Bible says this. And the disciples asked him and say, Master, this man was born from, from when he, this man was born blind. And he says, Who did sin? Is this man sin or his father that he was born blind? And the reason I'm saying so is this. Most times, one thing that hinders prayers the most is sin consciousness. You know, some people feel as if God has something against them. That God is really upset with them. That God does not want to forgive them. When something happened, what they say is, God, why are you doing me like this? They really think that God is your problem. And this is what I will say to you. If you think that God is your problem, you will not have answer prayers. Because God is not your problem. Your problem is on the other side. So when this man was born blind, the disciples came to meet Jesus Christ. And they asked him in a very symbolic way. What did they ask him? They said to him, what they said to him was very simple. They said, who sinned? Meaning that the reason why this person is sick is because God is angry and God stopped it. They were saying that the reason why this person is not married is because God is angry and God stopped it. The reason why this person doesn't have a child is because God is angry and God has stopped it. So what they were saying in other words is that there's a problem and we know that it's God that is doing it. And when they said that, a just very powerful story, Look at what Jesus Christ said. Verse, chapter 9, verse 3. And Jesus answered and said, Neither had this man sinned. Of course, the truth is that there's no one that's not sinned before. So what he was saying is that what you think is the result of this man's sin is not the reason why he has the problem. He said, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents, but what had happened right now. He says, But that the work of God should be made manifest in him. What does that mean? The, everybody saw the blind man and people said, this is the way God made him. Jesus Christ said, that's not the way God made him. I've come to make him the way God made him. Glory to God. Everybody saw the blind man and said, ah, when you are born from birth, they say, ah, that's how God made him. And all of a sudden they said, no. Jesus Christ said, I've come. That you may do the work, the work, the work of God. So if you are here and you have a tumor, that's not how God made you. So, I've come to do the work of God. If you're here and you're deaf in your ear, that's not how God made you, sir. I've come to do the work of God. If you're here and you're paralyzed or you have a stroke or something, that's not how God made you. I've come to do what? To do the work of God. Glory to God. So, what was the work of God? Let's see what it is. Then he began to say, 
I must walk the walk of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh that no man can walk. And as long as I'm in this world, I am the light of the world. Look at verse 5. Verse 5 says he spat on the ground. I'm just jumping, making it faster. But the long and short of the story is this. As soon as they laid hands on the man that was blind and they washed in this pool, the man that had not seen since he was born, the eyes opened. Glory to God. And the reason I'm saying this, this is the reason I'm saying this. This is just the reason I'm saying this. The reason I'm saying this is that the number one reason people don't receive answers to prayers is that they really think that God is not kind to them. That's the truth. They, they keep saying, Lord, when they pray, why are you doing it for other people? I don't do my own. That's not my God. Why do you think God doesn't like you? And the reason why they think God doesn't like them is because they are conscious of the sin they have committed. Let me give you a story. This is a next level testimony. One day during next level as we're preaching, you know, I saw a vision and I said, as a lady, you've been trying to get pregnant. But the challenge is that you think it's God that is punishing you because you had an abortion. That you think it's God that is punishing you because you had an abortion. And um, just to let you know and explain this, I said, God does not punish forgiving sins. If you are forgiven, you cannot be punished. If you are punished, you were not forgiven. Is that not true? Exactly. Think about it. If someone says, I forgive you, that means it will not do anything to harm you again. If it does something to harm you, then it didn't what? Forgive you. So since we know God cannot lie, and if he said, I forgive you, that means he what? He forgave you. So he cannot he forgive you. So the lady said, the lady sent me a message instantly. I said, during the prayers, you mentioned my case. It's as if you know what's on my mind. I'm the one you're talking about. I've received forgiveness. I will not think, I will not think that God is punishing me. The reason why is this. Watch this now. Every time you think God is punishing you, Satan used that thought to attack you. That's the truth. Because once Satan knows that you think so, Satan comes in. And he comes in under disguise. Because you already think God is the one that is punishing you. When you think God is the one that is punishing you, how do you pray with confidence? There's no way to pray with confidence. You can't even say, Satan, get lost. So, he begins to bring it to remembrance. So, this lady, when this lady, by the time we said that, she took it three months after she wrote me, saying, I'm pregnant. Then sometime last year, she wrote me again. He said, I'm not only pregnant, I've given birth to my baby. He said, listen to me. It was just an instruction. God does not punish forgiving sins. Someone says, I, I know I've done an abortion. God knows. In fact, before you thought of abortion, God knew you would do it. And he didn't forgive you when he has forgiveness on the cross of Calvary. That's where he forgave you. That's why you must understand that on the cross, all sins were paid for. Someone says, it was the alcohol I was drinking that caused me liver problem. I know, but God has forgiven you. So in this meeting today, you must remember. Someone says, it was because I was not faithful to God in my money. That's why I lost so many things. But God has forgiven you. The first thing you must remember is this. God is not angry with you. See what he said. They brought to him a woman that was, that was caught in adultery. And the reason why they brought him to him was that they wanted him to be angry. And you know what he said? He said this. In other words, he said, woman, go and sin no more. He, they were expecting him to condemn the woman. Rather, Jesus empowered the woman for a new life. Why? Because in the Old Testament, God will remember and hold our sins. In the New Testament, he says, your sins and iniquities, I will remember no more. Glory to God. He says, your sins and iniquities, I will remember what? No more. That means, if someone said you sin, God says, where is the record? I don't have record. Yeah. That I don't have record. God has no record. So, if God does not hold my sin against me, then the next thing is this. Why won't I receive a miracle? If God does not hold my sin against me, why won't I have a baby? Someone says, but I've been praying for such a long time. I don't know why I don't have a child, but that's why you're here. So that, listen to me, when you're going for medical advice and it's not working, you go for a superior advice. Is that not true? That's why you're here for superior anointing. Praise God. So that we can join our faith together and release something mighty in the name of Jesus Christ. 
you know, just some, um, just NLP. I'm, I'm sure that you've heard and seen the testimonies. There was, you know, one, one of the time we're praying, there was this man that was paralyzed on the bed. And all of a sudden, as we're praying, this night in the live service, we were just watching. He just got up and began to walk. Someone says, how did that happen? Faith in the name of Jesus. See, the easiest way to know you have a miracle is this. To know that God is your father. And God is good and kind to me. Somebody says, say, God is good and kind to me. That's it. How do I know when I submit the contract, I'll get the feedback? Because God is good and kind to me. How do I know that now I will get pregnant? Because God is good and kind to me. How will I know I will get the job? Because God is good and kind to me. How will I know I will get the approval? Because God is good and kind to me. Say, God is good and kind to me. Listen to me. You think you're asking God for a miracle. That's true. But God wants to do you. God wants to show off with your life. He wants, to, he wants people to ask you, where is your God? He wants people to ask you, where do you pray? <laughs> this year, your friends will call you. And they say, what is happening? Everything has turned around. Everything has changed. We were all single girls together. Before you know it, you left us and got married. We all used to trek from Challenge to the other bus stop. Now, you are not just riding a car, you are riding a Pajero. They will look at you and say, look at your children. All your children are doing well. But there was a time they were not doing well. What happened? You said, God is good and kind to me. They will say, all of us, all of us were fighting for the contract. How come it was only your own that the governor approved? Because God is good and kind to me. Somebody say, I receive it. Let me tell you something. This is the year you will have the easiest miracles. This year, because while you are sleeping, God will be doing it. While you are working, God will be doing it. As you are sitting down now, he's doing it. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. I said praise God. You know, we had NLP conference in Dubai. It was just a meeting like this. The hall was also packed like this. And, you know, as we had the NLP conference in Dubai, I was telling them that even in your career, God will do it. We had it on Friday. And that time, if you know Dubai, Dubai does not work on Friday because Friday is their Sunday. So they go to church. Then the, as I finished praying, I came downstairs. Then, you know, this brother was there with me. One of the guys came to him and said, I want to talk to the pastor. He said, is this how God answers your prayer? I said, why? He said, my, my letter of employment just came right now. It, it, it said, it's not that it just came right now. This is Friday. Nobody works on Friday. I said, God can break protocols for you. Why? He's the God of Abraham. He's the God of Isaac. He's the God of Jacob. He's the God of the apostles of old. He's the God of the prophets. He did it before. He will do it again. He said it before. He will say it again. Somebody say, I receive it. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but my God is able. I don't know if you heard the testimony on Next Level. There's a lady that came to testify, and she said six years old. She had never seen a menstruation before. Oh, yes. True life testimony. She had never seen a menstruation before. And since when she was young, you know, when a teenager, all her friends were menstruating, a mother began to go from hospital to hospital to hospital. hospital. They began to even try child medicine. Child medicine are traditional doctors. But she never saw a period. She never did once. And, you know, now that she was older, she said, I would just go to the hospital hoping that they will find a solution. He said, one day, I was even in the hospital waiting to see the doctor. He said, it was NLP time. I turned on the phone. He said, when I turned on the phone, you said, that person has not seen a period. Let it come right now. He said, I just said amen in Jesus' name. He said, the next thing, something was flowing. He said, she said, but if you are not used to period, you don't know what is flowing is flowing. He said, so I thought that maybe something was wrong down there. He said, I went into the bedroom. I saw something was flowing. I caught somebody else. 
I said, this is happening to me. He said, you're menstruating. He said, is this how menstruation is? First time in 36 years. Because with God, all things are possible. Because with God, all things are possible. There's no one like our God. Full of grace and full of power. Full of grace and full of power. Someone says, but I'm not seeing the pastor. You don't have to see me. Anywhere you are, the power of God can touch you. Anywhere they are, either you're watching, you're listening online, or you're in the extensions, or you're in the other room, or you're in the ne church next door, the power of God can touch you. And right now, it's touching you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness dies. Every delay is cancelled. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you are moving forward. You are moving from the back to the front. From relegation to elevation. From minimum to maximum. From zero to hero. In the name of Jesus. Where it has been slow, the speed of heaven comes upon you. I am Koshata. Where it has been slow, the speed of heaven comes upon you. Every business that is dead, it rises up now. Every career that is dead comes back to life. Every marriage that is dead comes back to life. Every piece of that comes back to life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is a decree from heaven today. Begin to flourish. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to sing a song and we're going to pray. But before we do that, I, I want to pray for someone. The, the, the woman with the glasses, with the hair tie. Will you come? And I will tell you what, you can just stay there. I will tell you what the Lord is saying to you. The Lord says to you that that which has made you cry privately is becoming a testimony now. Yeah, I said, it's becoming a testimony now. My God is able... He's, He's able. able. I, I know, know my God, God is able. able. I know my God is able to carry me through. Every oh, my God is able. He's able. I know. Set the captives free, heal the sea, raise the dead, and walk upon the sea. going to spend some few minutes to pray and this is the first prayer point father thank you because my turnaround has come are you ready somebody pastor larry get the microphone yeah pastor larry get the microphone are you ready are you ready listen to me as you are praying i wanted to see it listen to me see yourself everybody hold on 
I want to don't pray yet. Close your eyes. See yourself leaving this place with your testimony. Hold on. I'm not praying for you yet. See yourself with it. See yourself leaving this place with your testimony. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Can you see it? With that approval letter, that email has come. Have you seen that house? Have you seen that funding? Have you seen that approval? Have you seen that promotion? Have you seen the engagement ring? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Go ahead and thank him. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Thank you because my time has come. Thank you because my time has come. My turn around is here. My turn around is I here. I rejoice in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and thank him, everybody. 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 My father, my thank father. You, Jesus. I give you all the thanks and the praise because my turn around oh, yes. us yes. Because oh, yes. my turn around us yes. Oh, yes. Because my time has come. Oh, yes. My turn around us yes. My turn around us yes. It changes yes for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Will you please turn your Bible to the book of Isaiah chapter 32? Can you help me with that? Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15. Glory to God. It's on the screen. Oh, it's not on the screen. 32, not 33. 32 verse 15. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15. Oh, yes. Go ahead and read for us. Anyone can read. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. The Bible says, until the Spirit be poured on us from, from on high. And the wilderness be a fruitful field. And the wilderness will be turned to a fruitful field. And the fruitful field be counted for a forest. And the fruitful field be counted for a forest. Oh this, this is a prayer, sir. Oh my God. Let the Spirit be poured upon my job. Let the Spirit be poured upon my career. Let the Spirit be poured upon my People that are believing God for a child. Oh upon my womb, let the Spirit be poured upon it. Upon my finances, let the Spirit be poured upon it. Upon my health, let the Spirit be poured upon it. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Oh my Father, my Father. Let the Spirit be poured upon my family. Let the Spirit be poured upon my finances. Let it be poured upon my career. Let and told me the yes, thank you, Jesus. Everything that is dead that should be alive yes, in your body, yes, in your health, yes, that's right, that's right, in your finance, yes, that's right, that's right. in your job, yes, yes, right, yes, it comes back alive. Yes. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Every womb that should be carrying a child boy is carrying fibro. Yes, 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 yes. This month, carry your baby. Amen. This month, carry your baby. Amen. This month, carry your baby. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I told my Nikaya. Oh, Every carrier that is dead. Oh my God. Every business that is struggling. Let the life of the spirit come upon it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. This is the next prayer point. And it's very powerful. God uses men to raise men. Yes, sir. Yes. Come is that not true? Yes, that's right. That's right. Joseph will have rot in prison, oh even though for God. someone that recommended yes, him to Pharaoh. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Oh. The prophet Elisha was hungry. It was a woman that got to use to feed him. Right. Yes. That's right. God that's uses right. men to raise men. Yes. yes, sir. And all of you that business people or career people, this prayer is for you. Oh my God. What is the prayer? Yes. Hammer my name into the mind yes. of my helper. Yes. Hammer my name. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. I want them to hear my prayer point first. This is a prayer. Hammer my name into the minds of my helper. Let them become restless until they find me. 
that person that will provide the recommendation yes. that person that will provide the funding yes. that person that will recommend me to the governor yes. in the name of Jesus Christ let it be recommended right now let's go ahead and pray let's go ahead and pray my father yes 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 that person that will provide funding for me oh yes hammer my name into the mind of that person that will recommend me hammer my name into the mind of that person that will recommend me hammer my name into the mind of that person that will recommend me so the romantic and recommended father, how about the top of the world? Rat, 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 this month, the long-awaited email will come through. Amen. This month, the long-awaited funding will come through. Amen. This month, the long-awaited promotion will come through. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This month will be full of surprises for Amen. you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This month, you will have a significant testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That marital delay is broken. Amen. That marital delay is broken. Amen. That funding delay is broken. Amen. That approval delay is broken. Amen. Your name are mentioned in high places. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. Oh. I receive it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Ruth chapter 3 verse 1 This is not just prayer These are word praise prayer missile Word based prayer missile Hallelujah Ruth chapter 3 verse 1 Glory to God Ruth chapter 3 verse 1 Ruth chapter 3 verse 1 You can read for me This was the This was the mother-in-law of a Of a, of a, of a, of a widow woman Naomi said unto her then Naomi, a mother-in-law said unto her, Yes, sir. My daughter, uh -huh. shall I not seek rest for thee, uh -huh. that it may be well with thee? Ah. What was the rest she was thinking about? She was talking about marital fulfillment. That's right. And this is the prayer. I enter into my marital joy. I enter into my marital joy. Are you ready, somebody? Oh, yes, Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I enter into my marital joy. Right now. right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, go oh, ahead and pray, everybody. My father, my father, hey, right. oh, gosh, I enter into my marital toes right now. In the name of Jesus, right now. In the name of Jesus, right now. In the name of Jesus, I enter into my marital toes. I come to put it in shell. Yes, 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 from this moment, every marital delay is cancelled. Uh, either you are praying for yourself or you are praying for your child. Either you are praying for yourself or you are praying for your sibling. I join my faith with you. Every marital delay is cancelled. I said every marital delay is cancelled. Enter into your marital rest. Enter into your marital rest. Whatever veil has caused you to be unseen by Italy, that veil has been torn apart. In the name of Jesus, Kaita Pai Kasania, Sila Kodi Para, Shali Kasos, Shali Kasos, Shali Kasos, and time to your Manita joy. In the name of Jesus. This is the next prayer point. 
Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, glory to God. Hallelujah. I said, glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, You prepare a table before me hey. in the presence of my enemies. My enemies. You anoint my head with oil. What happened? My cup runs over. What is, what is cup? Bank account. What is cup? Storage. The anointing comes upon me. It affects my finances. Are you ready, sir? Yes, sir. Are you ready, sir? Yes, sir. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. The provision I need. The provision I need. The funding I need. The funding I need. For my career. For my career. For my business. For my business. For my projects. For my projects. Let there be a release from heaven. Let there be a release from heaven. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. My father, my father. The funding that I need. The provision that I need. For my business. For my business. Let them be released now. In the name of Jesus. Let them be released now. 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 Let them be Let them we just have about three more prayer points. Then I begin to pray for you. I don't know what I'm talking about, but this prayer point is for some people here. I'm tired of... <laughs> this is the prayer point. I'm trying, but it's not enough. Let mercy cover up for me. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm trying, but it's not enough. Yeah, I'm pushing, but it's not enough. Yeah, Let the mercy of God, mercy of God. anyway, it's not enough. Yeah. Cover for me. Yeah. Everybody yeah. say, My father, my father. My father, my father. Everywhere I've been trying. Everywhere I've been trying. That it's not enough. That is not enough. Let the mercy of God, Let the mercy of God. cover for me. Cover for me. Go ahead and pray in the my name of Jesus. Father, my father. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Everywhere I've been trying. Oh. Everywhere I've been trying. Let your message cover for me. Let your message be for me. Let your message open up. Let your message be for me. 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 Let your let your mercy intervene. Let your mercy come on. Wherever I am trying, and it is not enough. Let your mercy, let it intervene. Let it cover up. Oh my God! In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This year you will not experience shame. Amen. This year you will not experience carriage. Somebody, yes, sir. <laughs> Hold on. If you did some mathematics, oh your teacher will say, Example one, Lord, use me to be an example of what you can do. Oh. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes, sir. That power of God used me to demonstrate. Let me be the person that will say, Ah, see what God did for her. See what God did for him. See what God did for our business. See what God did for our children. See what God did for our family. Say, My father, my father. My father, my father. Use my life. Use my life to demonstrate your power. To demonstrate your power. That the world may know that thy God is alive and full of power. Go ahead and pray, everybody. My father, my father. Oh, yes. Use my life to demonstrate your power. That they might know that my God is alive. That they might know that my God is alive. Use your power. Use my life to demonstrate your power. That they may know that my God is alive. That they might know that my God is alive. Use my life to demonstrate your power. That my God is alive. Use my life. 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 Use
There is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. Healing power, praying power, there is power in the blood. Power, there is power, there is power. There is power, there is power in the name. There is power in the name. There is power, there is power, there is power in the name. There is power, there is power in the name. There is power, there is power in the name. There is power, there is power, there is power in the name. There is power, there is power, there is power in the name. I sang that song because of the next prayer point. And I said we had two more, but I added one more, so we still have two more. And the first one is this. Every negative report will reverse it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I, I just saw a vision. Hold on. Where is the woman? You got a report from the doctor, and you kept it beside the drawer beside your bed. Where are you? You got a report from the doctor, and you kept it beside the door, beside it. I just saw it in the spirit. You know, there are many, you know, there are many overflows now, so you don't even know if it's somewhere else, so it's difficult. But if you're in this hall that I can see, just lift up your right hand if I can see you. You, you got a report from the doctor. Oh, Where? Jesus. You're, you're on my left hand side. That report has been reversed. Amen. 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 Thank, Amen. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And this is what I want to talk about today. I want to pray about it. Every negative report. Every negative report. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We'll reverse it. We'll reverse it. Go ahead and begin to My declare. father, my father. Every negative report. In the name of Jesus Christ. We reverse it. We reverse it. We reverse it. Every negative report. By the power of God. In the name that does approve every other name. We command that you are reversed. You are reversed. First of all, every sickness and attack dies right now. Yes. He said, No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. That's right. Every tongue that rises against shall be condemned in judgment. He said, He's the one that frustrated the talking of the liars yes. and make it the diviners mad. Yes. He said, There's no enchantment against Jacob, yes. neither is there any divination against Israel. Right. He said, Associate yourself together. He said, what? You shall be broken in pieces. He said, as soon as strangers hear my voice, yes. they shall be afraid of the hiding places. Yes. Every yes. kind of attack Whoa. we cancel today. Yes. Every kind of sickness, cancer, sumor, fibroids, yes. get out. Yes. Get out. Yes. Get out. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and Yes. Every box of sickness and deliverance in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. We cast them out today. We cast them out today. We command them to go. Yes. 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 Yes.
Start praying for the sick right now. We're going to see miracles right now. As I pray for the sick, we're going to start seeing miracles. This is what I'm going to ask you to do. If I, and listen to me, some people say it didn't mention my case. If I have to mention all the case God shows me, we'll be here till 10 o'clock. So either I mention the case or not, it doesn't matter. It does not mean that God is touching or not touching you. It means if I pray for you, God is touching you. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. That women, that before the end of April, that barrenness is over. Amen. 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 That barrenness is over. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just play on the keyboard. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Choir. to God. If you have an issue with your ears, either you have a deaf ear, a deaf ear, or you have an issue, put your hands anywhere it is right now. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands there. If you have any kind of tumor, growth, lumps, fibroid, put your hands on your chest right now. If you have any kind of bone problem, put your hands where it is, or put your hands on your chest. Choir, come up. Thank you, Pastor. Glory to God. Just put your hands there right now. And watch this now. When I pray for you, I'm going to ask you to do what you could not do. And when I tell you to do what you could not do, seven times, do what you could not do. You will discover that it's God. You will discover it's God. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you because you are good and kind. You love everybody and you're showing everyone your kindness. 
You love everybody and you're showing them your goodness. You're showing them your favor. You're showing them they matter to you. There's no reason why you will not touch everyone today because you are good. There's no reason why everyone that has a tumor will not be healed today because you are good. You are healing everyone that has a tumor. You are opening every deaf ear and healing every deafness. You are healing every leg condition, every arthritis, every lameness, every paralysis today by the power of the Holy Ghost. And listen to me, if you are just hearing from where you are, maybe one of the extensions or you are watching on the online, just stay connected with your faith. God's power will touch you. In a moment, miracles will be everywhere. There's a lady, there's a lady, you always feel something walk over your body. You, 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 something walks around your body. You don't see, but something walks around your body. That thing is an oppression of the devil. I command it, go in Jesus' name. I of the Holy Ghost. You sent your word. If I mention those three cases, just put your hands there. Heal my Sent your word, you sent your word, and healed my disease. You are the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And right now, every lump, every tumor, every growth, every arthritis, every bone, every leg problem. Every deafness, every problem with the ear, you spirits of infirmity, I command in the name of Jesus, turn them loose. I command you, come out of their bodies now. I command you, come out of their bodies now. Right now, receive your healing. Right now, receive your healing. Right now, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. That growth is gone. That hearing is restored perfectly. That leg that can walk can walk right now. You can now walk without pain. You can now walk without a walking stick. You can walk without a walking stick. You can walk without support. That arthritis is gone. That pain is gone in the name of Jesus. Wave your hands and thank him, everybody. Thank him. All of you that I pray for, go ahead and do what you could not do before. Go ahead and do what you could not do before. Go ahead and do what you could not do before. If you had a lump on your body, go ahead and check. Go to the bedroom. Go somewhere and check. Go somewhere and check. If, if your leg had the problem, go ahead and check your leg right now. Move those legs up and down. Move those legs. If you came with your crutches, drop the crutches and begin to walk. Drop the crutches. Let them help you and begin to walk in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Drop the crutches and begin to walk. Glory to God. If your ear was not working well, speak into your ear. Just check your ear. Check your ear. Just check your ear. Glory to God. Don't worry, many miracles are happening tonight. Many miracles are happening tonight. You sent your word and healed my disease. Keep doing what you could not do. Keep doing what you could not do. Healer, you sent your word. You sent your word. And healed my disease. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. My healer. My healer. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 A child has been healed right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. While I was praying, you noticed the lump on your body disappeared. You noticed that your ear started working. You noticed that your legs started working well. You were healed of an arthritis, healed of something. I wanted to come out to the right side, to my right side quickly. I'm going to pray for other people, but you come quickly to my right side. Yes, you come quickly to my right side. Yeah, you come quickly to my right side. Just come quickly to my right side. Oh, yes. And hallelujah. And hallelujah, and hallelujah. Even if you are in the extensions of the overflow, let it make way for you. Just come out, come out of your seat. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know why you're stopping there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So come quickly. Come out of your seat quickly. Come out of your seat quickly. Come out of your seat quickly. said, this is what I said, do what you could not do before, and as soon as you discover the general amendment, even if you don't want to testify outside, just come and tell the pastors, you don't have to come on the stage, but find a way, some of you outside, find your way inside, please, let them come inside, I want them to come to my right hand side, I want them to come on the right hand side, you know, I want them to come, I'm not, I'm not, I just prayed for a category of people, we are going to pray for prayer for the sick just soon. And we're going to have so many manifestations of God's power, of God's glory quickly. So if you're coming, come quickly. If you're coming, come quickly. Come quickly. Come join those that are here. Many people are already here. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Don't stay in your seat. Just join them quickly. Come quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. While we're doing that, I want you to do something. If you can get a piece of paper. Write something you desire of the Lord tonight. If you can get a piece of paper, write something you desire of the Lord tonight. Either for your business, either for your career, get something you desire of the Lord tonight. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons. There shall be seasons with refreshing. Sent from the Savior above. Showers. Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings with thee.
business people, I'm going to pray for you in a few minutes. And this is what I'm going to pray. That growth and speed will come upon your business. Hallelujah. Can we get about three or four testimonies? Yes, sir. Yeah. You want me to share your testimony? Okay, yes, tell me. Pastor, I did show you here since last year, March. Yes. She's had a lump in her right breast. Oh, wow. You know, and just the word, where you gave the word, she's tried to feel everything and it's gone. Pastor. Praise God. It's gone. Praise Hallelujah. God. Is there a way to come up there? No, sir. It's on the other it's side. It's on sir. the other side. Okay, let's just, yes, yes. Let, let her come over here. Praise God. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Glory to God. There shall be showers of blessing. Congratulations. Congratulations. So the lump disappeared. I'm sorry. So the lump, yeah, tell me. Yes, sir. It was around last year. I noticed in my right breast. So I went to the hospital. The doctor was like, there's nothing there. I'm like, I know what I'm seeing. There's something there. So reluctantly made me go for a CT scan. So when I got there, the radiologist told me, I said, oh, there's actually a breast lump there. There was a lump in the breast. Yes. So she told me six months later, I should come back. If the breast lump is still there, I'll be take it out. And I was like, I don't want that breast lump. So I kind of ignored it. There was even a reminder that I saw from my friend that she should go back there. And then when it came up, I was like, I'm not going back to the hospital. So I just kind of ignored it. But sometimes I still feel it there. So when I was praying right now, I just felt that I'm like going to pray it down. This is a miracle. How do you feel? I feel very good. Very God is, God is good. good and kind to me. Yeah. God is good and kind to you. God bless you. Praise God. Can I get two or three testimonies before I pray for every other person? Pastor, sir. Yes. Tinuola. Yes. Tinuola has had headache on the right side of her head for three years. In fact, she says it's been over three years. It keeps going round her head. And just for the first time in three years, Pastor, she's not, she doesn't have a headache right now. Wow. First time in three wow. years. First time in three come, years. Come, 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 come. This is powerful. This is powerful. This is powerful. Tell me about this. So for three years, I've been going to the hospital, and the doctor said that it's because I don't have enough oxygen running in my in my brain. Wow. And so they put me on ibuprofen, on so many drugs, to the extent that if I'm sitting down in front of the TV, my eyes are blurry. Wow. The pain keeps going in from my head, my head, and it's always on the right alone, from my head to my shoulder to my arms, to my neck. For three years? Yes, sir. It keeps moving up and down. It keeps moving. And I keep, and it's so painful, sir. It's so uncomfortable. It makes me angry. That's when I get dreaded. It makes me really angry and cranky. Wow. And people don't understand. They just think I'm sick, tough sick. But they don't know what I'm feeling. It's, it's on so thin. I'm processing. Praise it's God. It's not there again. It's gone. It's gone. It's oh, wow. There. It's not Somebody there. shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a miracle. This, this is a miracle. It's no pain. Like, sir, it's, I press it. I physically feel pain. It's not there. Wow. It's not there. It's not Thank there. You. Thank you. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Can we take one more before we pray yes, for every other person? Pastor Johnson has had, he has had pain on his both knees for seven months. Seven months. Seven months. Pastor, he, he's not been able to bend his knee at all. But tonight, Pastor, Johnson has just been bending his knee. He's been going up and Johnson, down. Johnson, come. Hallelujah. Can you bend the knees? Let me see you. Wow. 
so you couldn't do this for Usually when I do this, I say, oh, God, please change it in there now. Like, can you just declare immediately the change back immediately? Praise God. Praise God. That is wonderful. That's wonderful. Praise God. You know, you can leave the testifiers there because we're going to come back to the testimony. Because I've never prayed for the sick. I just prayed for a category of people. Hallelujah. Because someone says, why do you do that? That's how the Lord has always led me to pray for the sick, to pray for a category first, and I pray for another person. But this is what I want to tell you tonight. It's just a step of faith. Look at, look at just in a few minutes, look at all the people that came from long to here, all the testimonies. We can even take everything. As we pray, Either you're praying for your business or you're praying for a healing. This is your moment. Let me know, let me tell you how you know God is going to heal you. Do you know He loves you? Then why will He want to use you? All you have to do is to believe it. That Lord, you love me. You don't want me sick. I receive it. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Everybody that's starting a new business, will you stand on your feet? Will, you, will, will everybody here, will you stand on your feet? If you start a new business, stand on your feet. And this is my prayer for you. That you will receive help beyond your network. Lord, I pray for everyone starting a business. You will receive help beyond your network. God will send you profitable partners. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, be lifted up ye everlasting doors. Let the King of glory come in. They say, who is this King of glory? He said, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, he's the King of glory. I declare for your business, new doors are open for you. Begin to flourish in the name of Jesus. Begin to flourish in the name of Jesus. Before this month is over, you will have a business testimony. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Please, you can have your seat. I'm just praying in categories. I'm going to pray the second category of prayers. And this is for people that, thank you, Jesus. That you feel you're manically delayed. The Bible says the anointing will set you. You know, and the anointing will set you yoke. You know, um, la last week during next level, we had this minister minister for us. We'll call her Deb. She was, I don't know if you watched it. She was there. And after that, they came into my office with the band. And when they came into my office with the band, she was just, you know, joking. I said, Pastor, you need to pray for one, two, three people in my team. They are not married. And, you know, she was just joking. It was not anything serious. She was just joking. And as I turned to one, the Spirit of God just spoke to me and said, but you know who you should marry? Why have you not done that? And as I heard it, I just pointed to him. I said, sir, you, you know. And as I said that, she just began to cry. And it was funny because it was meant to be a joke. And he said, because the Lord had been dealing with you. Sometimes I hear those testimonies. That the person that eventually engaged them is someone that they've known for five years. And for no reason, they can't just take one step. Okay, can you help? Pastor, can you help me with that? There's a lot of noise at the back. You know why that is happening? What? No, no, no. Let's, let's not put it up. Some people, yes. Praise the Lord. So if you're that condition, if you have, that's what you want to pray about, will you start to your feet? Marital delay. Congratulations. In the spirit, I'm seeing wedding invitation cards. 
That marital delay is cancelled. It's cancelled. It's cancelled. In the name of Jesus. From today, enter into your marital joy. From today, enter your marital rest. In the name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Congratulations. Congratulations. There's a lady I see in the spirit in your family. All the girls are not married. Where are you? Wave your hand. All the girls are not married. Wave your and when I say girls, I don't mean 18 year olds and something year old girl. These are older ladies. Wave your hand. From your head, that thing changes. In the name of Jesus Christ, it changes. Thank you, Lord. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I have about two or three more things to pray for. I will begin to close for tonight. The next I want to pray for is healing. Any kind of one. How many of you are here believing for the state of the womb? Believing not you came for someone, you, you came yourself. For the fruit of the womb. Will you stand? You came for the fruit of the womb. Will you come out? Thank you, Jesus. Just flow. Flow. And great are you, Lord. Great, great are you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is your moment. This is your moment. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Sing great. great. guide you. I'm seeing single people coming for prayers. You should not be coming for this prayers. Please. 
uh, Saul says, I'm standing the gap for someone. I didn't ask you to stand the gap for someone. I said, if you want to get pregnant, come. I said, if you want to get pregnant, come. Did I say stand the gap for someone? If I prayed for you, you can go back to your seat. You can go back to your seat. Once hands is lifted, you can go back to your seat. Glory to God. <laughs> don't go and receive what you don't want. Before you say, I was trying to receive from my sister, but I'm the one that is pregnant. Amen. And listen, as I lay hands on you, whatever the doctor said is impossible has been changed. And it says, it see, within 60 to 90 days, you are getting pregnant. Just flow. Majesty. Thank you. Worship his majesty. Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise. Well, hold on, hold on. So I understand why the noise is at the door. The reason why is that people in the overflows are trying to get in for the prayers. So this is what I'm going to do. Where's Pastor Dyer? Pastor Dyer, come. I'm going to tell our senior pastors. Pastor Benga, come. Pastor Lawrence, come. I want you to take maybe five ushers each and go to each of the overflows so there you can pray. And some of you are going to join me. Pastor Rich, I want you to join me from here to minister to people since we have on the rise to minister to people. So you can ask um, um, Brother Noemi, some of them to join you, you know, in, in that area. And then praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Majesty. Worship his majesty. Thank you, Jesus. Have, have I prayed for you? Thank you, Jesus. We stand in here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. you desire. It's yours. Hell! Yes. Hell! Oh, Holy Ghost. Close from this throne. I cancel it. Yes. Receive it. Hell! As you desire, receive it. Thank you, Lord. You in the name of Jesus, receive it. Here in your power. Yes, receive it. I know in the name you of are Jesus. here. Precious Holy Spirit. 
Whatever the doctor said is cancelled. I, I declare you fruitful. Right now. Yes, I declare you fruitful. Receive it in Jesus. In the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Sir, where's your wife? Is she high? Have I prayed for her? Go and call her. Yes. 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 Close her down. Down. I worship you. Yes. Yes. You are here. In the name of Jesus. Turn the delay is the over. Around. The delay is over. The delay is over. The power of the Holy Ghost. The delay is over. Yes. You are here. You are here. I prayed for you there, right? Yes. Doing I know. Miracles and In the name of Jesus. I worship you. I worship Everything you. wrong has become right. Lord, I worship you. Everything the wrong has become right. You are here. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive a full testimony. In Jesus' name. And there will be no miscarriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Receive it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Receive it. Holy Spirit. Amen. Have you been blessed so far? Things have changed. I just want to just lay it hard. Thank you. Don't have the heart condition the Lord is healing you right now. 
you feel this current coming on your body, that's the healing power of God. So now the growth in the primary part is gone now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. If you're sick in your body, just put your right hand on your chest or wherever the sickness is. And as we pray, the deliverance is everywhere. The deliverance is everywhere now. Say, I receive supernatural healing. I want some of our pastors to walk in the audience because there are people that would put their hands on their self and you can also join your faith and minister to them. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, my God, I want to show you. Thank you, Jesus. Someone has a part of your body that always shakes. God is healing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. A chest condition has been healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see someone that has a hearing problem. You've been healed right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, rejoice in the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Children that are vessels healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you have high blood pressure, put your hands on your chest. We command the blood pressures to stabilize. We command the blood pressures to stabilize. In the name of Jesus, we curse the high blood pressure. In the name of Jesus, eye conditions have been healed by the power of God. There's someone you came in and you were seeing glory. Now you're seeing perfectly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And right now, thank you, Lord. Right now, Every kind of sickness under the sound of my voice, you will not stay in your body. You devil of infirmity, come out of your body. You devil of infirmity, turn them loose. I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. I command your eyes to be healed. I command your lungs to be healed. I command the pain to go. I command the sickness to go. Be healed in your blood. Be healed in your nerves. Be healed in your bones. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Someone has a, 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 a problem. It affects your breathing. You can't even breathe deeply because it's going to, you just can't do that easily. And right now you can take deep breath because the Lord has healed you. Thank you, Jesus. Because the Lord has healed you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So many miracles are taking place. I want you to begin to do what you could not do before. I want you to begin to do what you could not do before. I want you to begin to do what, if you cannot bend, go ahead and bend in Jesus' name. If you cannot use any part of your body, go ahead and use a part of your body in Jesus' name. Whatever you could not do before, go ahead and do it right now. Go ahead and do it right now. Go ahead and do it right now. Whatever you could not do before, go ahead and do it right now in Jesus' name. Just go ahead. I'm waiting for you. Go ahead and do whatever you could not do before. If you could not wave your hands, go ahead and wave it. If you could not bend your legs, if you could not move your legs, go ahead and move your legs in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and move those legs in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and move those legs in Jesus' mighty name. The miracle power of God is working all over this place. The miracle power of God is working all over this place. The miracle power of God 
is working all over this place. The miracle power of God is working all over. Pastors, I wanted to help those that you prayed for. Just help them exercise your faith. Encourage them to do what they could not do before. Expand them to do what they could not do before. Go ahead and do what they could not do before. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. So go ahead and do what you could not do before. Go ahead and do what you could not do before. Praise God. Say, I have received healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just before I ask you to sit down, say the final prayer. What's the final prayer? Yes. Yes. Before I say the final prayer, I want to ask you, how many of you, when we prayed, you felt a relief in your body? Raise your hands up, please. Just raise your hands. Look at that. That's amazing. You, it, I'm serious. Just raise your hands. You, you felt a relief. Not everybody, you, when we're praying, you felt a relief. Look at that. Look at all those hands that just received healing right now. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. You know, we just don't have the time to listen to all the testimonies. We just don't have time to listen to all the testimonies. But please, find a way to send your testimony online. Find a way to send it through a video. Send your testimony. Glory to God. I want to pray on that thing you wrote. I want to pray on it right now. Glory to God. Are we ready? Before we close, everybody, does everybody have this card that you're going to give it to them? Are you going to give it to them or they have it? Everybody has it. You're giving them, okay. So hold on, let me just tell you what it is. So we have this card here. If you would love to belong to one of our prayer groups, it's all at the back. So there are two things. Number one, um, if you would, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to make an altar call if you want to accept Jesus Christ, please do that. Then the second thing is that if you would love to attend a monthly prayer meeting, it's also that you can indicate interest. And if you don't have to, but you want to do that, if you want to belong to a small group here in Ibadan, you can also do that. And we, in the near future, we are believing that we'll have Harvest Pass Ibadan here. Praise God. Yeah. Glory to God. And if you want to be part of that, when it starts, also put it there. So everybody will get this form. And at the back, the groups are there. Praise God. If you attend a great church already, that's wonderful. Our goal is not to be poaching people. Our goal is to be a blessing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. So they will give you the card. They will give you the card quickly. You want to see the card here? Because I want you to pay attention. I don't want to be sitting cut and I'm praying. Okay. Please, let's have our seats. Maybe we should give you one minute to fill the card. Yeah. Yeah. And while we're doing that, we can also take our offerings. Remember that... Uh, we are here for 30 minutes, me and about maybe five of our pastors are here, and we can pray for people, one after the other, even after the service is over for 30 minutes. Praise the Lord. We're going to take our offering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is it a good time to give an offering unto the Lord? All right. Um, I'm sure they will put account details on the screen. Is it possible to do that? So they'll put account details on the screen. And if you have cash offering, we have baskets. We have offering bags and we have baskets to give. What we want to do this evening is just to give a thanksgiving offering, just to really thank God for what he's done tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So we're just trying to combine everything together so that we can begin to close the service. The last thing I want to do is to pray on those prayer requests. But congratulations, God has heard your prayers. Amen. So please take the cards in the overflow 
and return us. Okay, let's pray. Are we ready to pray? All right. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we give our offerings and faith today because we love you. Please receive it, Holy Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The offering began on the screen. So if you can put them, put them details on the screen so that if you cannot give cash, you can give a transfer. So if you want to give your offering, they will pass the bag. If no bag is coming to you, um, in front of the stage, there's a bag on my right and on the left. You can go ahead and put your offering there. Then you can also take time and fill this and return back. So you can go ahead and fill this and return back. And please, if you don't join, the next level prayer tomorrow is taking place in Ibadan, but not this place. It's taking place in where, Pastor Diane? Penton? Penton Rise. So you already know the place, right? Exactly. Yes, it's taking place in Penton Rise. It's taking place in Penton Rise. Are, are, they, are they changing something? Okay, just for you to know, Penton Rice cannot take everybody. Yes, so once it's full, it's full. Amen. So, so just to let you know, so we don't expect everybody here to come to Penton Rice. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you've been blessed already tonight, so that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Glory to God. Ibad, I love Ibad already. Praise the Lord. I can't wait to hear the testimony. So all of you that got here today, we don't have time to take all the testimonies. You know, um, if you got here that you want to share a testimony, maybe you should just stand up. Some of you, I mean, there were hundreds and hundreds of people. We can get about three or five while we're taking our offering that can share. You know, you can just tell us what significant the Lord did. You know, you can just come forward if you want to do that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So tomorrow morning we're in Penton Rise. So have you finished filling this? Have you finished filling this? Okay. Glory to God. Can we pray now? Can we pray? All right. Oh, yes. So if you want to use a bank transfer, you know, um, these are the next level accounts. You know, where are the Nigerian accounts? Okay. There's a lot of accounts, you know. Okay, they are also doing this because people are watching from abroad. Because I was wondering when I saw South Africa and the U.S. But people are watching from, you know, abroad. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So I was wondering if people travel from South Africa here for next level. Yeah. Are we ready to pray? Okay, let's stand up and pray. Let's talk to the Father. Pray. Will you raise up? Will you raise up what you're praying about? This is what Eli told Anna. It was a simple thing. He looked at Anna and said, Anna, he said, may God grant thee the petition of thy heart. And that's my prayer for you today. That in the name of Jesus Christ, everything you've written today as a prayer point, by the time we are saying Happy New Year, 31st December 2023, it will become a full-blown testimony. You are moving from prayer point to full-blown testimony. In the name of Jesus. The resources you will need to make this happen, the allocation of heaven releases it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Please, all heads close, all eyes bowed. If you're not born again, I don't want you to come out. All I want to do anywhere you are, just raise up your right hand as a sign of identification. And I want to pray for you. You know you're not born again. You need to be a child of God. Will you raise up your right hand anywhere you are and say this after me? Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for today that you touched my heart and I responded. I believe the message of the gospel that Jesus Christ died for me. And it was raised from the dead for my justification. Today, I receive him as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Please remember this form. We would love to fill this form. Even if it's just to give us a feedback. If you don't have, just give us a feedback. If you want to join all the prayer groups in Ibadan, we have about 22 of them over here in, you know, Basharo, Apata. Just click the one you want. At the back, at the back. Fill it at the back, and we want to be able to join there. If you do not follow me on social media, I want to encourage you, please follow at Bola JID. Can you change, you know, we've seen the account number. Can you change the social media handles? Follow at Next Level. Follow at Bola JID. It will be a blessing to you. Glory to God. We're going to, are we closing with music or we're going to dismiss from here? What? What? Oh, okay. Okay, praise the Lord. So let me tell you how we're going to close. We're going to sing for about five, five to eight minutes. Offerings. If you have your offering envelope, just come. While they're singing, just come and put your offering envelopes in from here. You can just come and do that. Please take note of this. After the choir is done, myself and our pastors will be waiting. We have about 30 minutes to minister to people. Afterwards, we'll close it out for tonight. Is that okay? All right. Glory to God. Choir, can we go ahead and praise the Lord? Nothing can compare. You are living hope. You praise her. Of the sweetest of love. 